This morning on today's Beauty Everyday products that pull double duty. Janae Luciani is a style and beauty expert. Janae, good morning. Morning, ladies. So you're going to show <laughs> us these tough, things that give us actually many other purposes in life as yeah, well, right? Most of it is stuff that you actually have around your home. Right. Or that you likely have in your beauty closet. You didn't know it could do all these Fun different Other things. things. Yeah. Okay, like bikini season right around the corner. Yeah, oh, scary enough. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people may get some razor bumps in certain areas, and you actually found a deodorant that actually can help minimize those. Well, right. Pretty much any deodorant. Okay. Believe it or not, you can actually, after you shave or you wax, rub it on the bikini area, really? and it sort of helps with that irritation and those bumps that you get. And um, what I liked about this deodorant in particular, this antiperspirant actually, is Gorilla that it also warfare. has a hair minimizer in it. So again, oh, wow. preventing that hair from growing back. So who knew, right? Okay, so cool. very good. Yeah. All right, baby shampoo. Yes. Yeah, Lots so. of uses, not just for baby hair. I have a three-year-old daughter, so I always have this in my house, and I found all these really cool uses for baby shampoo. It's super gentle. Mm -hmm. You can actually wash your face with it. You can use it to wash your makeup brushes to keep them kind of lasting longer, right. and you can use it to wash your delicates. Mm. So, and I talk about this in the bra book as well, but you can wash your bras in baby shampoo. Here we have some pantyhose. Right. Um, Is baby shampoo just more gentle a formula than like regular detergent or soap? Correct. It's very gentle, but it will still get it nice and clean. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very it's good. Nice for the yes, yes. Well, from baby shampoo to baby oil. <laughs> So my mom used this for as long as I can remember to take her eye makeup off yeah. and even as a moisturizer after the shower. Hi mom, she's watching, watching in Deerfield Beach, Florida. Hey, mom. <laughs> She'll be so excited for the shout out. But um, also I found that you can use baby oil as a shaving lotion. Okay. Oh nice. It's so a heck of a lot less expensive than shaving cream. Right. So when you're showering, yes, and actually the razor glides nicely right over it. So just still in the direction of the hair. Yeah, or you'll be back over there with the deodorant. Right, exactly. <laughs> you can't avoid after. those bumps no matter right. what you do, right? Exactly. Okay. So rosebud salve lip balm. I love that stuff. I use right? it for everything. Yeah. And of course, rub it in your cuticle. You probably know you can use it on your elbows, all these things beside your lips. Mm -hmm. um, and the main ingredient is petroleum jelly, mm -hmm. which um, you know helps heal and does all of these things, of course. But I also found that you can use it as an alternative to mascara when you're on the go. Oh, okay. So you I just sometimes kinda... do that with Vaseline. I sometimes do just oh. take it and put it on the ends of the of well, the lashes. You're just right? the gal in the know. No. Well, <laughs> It does. It kind of just sort of, you know, cleans them out. It does. It's like a little bit of a shine right. to it, so you just kind of roll like a clean mascara okay. brush in there. Um, and also tame your eyebrows with it. So you know how sometimes you can use like clear mascara for that, but you need just like one product, which is so much easier for women these That's days, cute. right? Or like an eyebrow gel or whatever. Right, to kind of tame right? those eyebrow hairs. Right. And I always end up taking these from the beauty supply store. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, you, you take shouldn't them. say that okay. on the air, Sonny. Okay? Yeah. They, might, they might be coming for They're you. They're there. Next All time right. you walk in that beauty supply, they're going to be like, So you swear um, by this lotion, this Walita Skin Food. What does this do? Yes, actually, well, this is like a great, really thick, moisturizing lotion. Mm -hmm. And um, a makeup artist friend of mine mm -hmm. who works on a lot of celebrities told me and taught me Ooh, that you can use good. it as a makeup primer. So you take your foundation oh. brush. Okay. Right? And put a little on your hand and just kind of go like that. And then you kind of paint it on all over your uh -huh. face and then put your foundation on. So you know how you get those like cracks in your foundation and stuff like that sometimes right. because if your skin is a little dry, you don't and you this get a nice glow. This is definitely for somebody with dry skin though because oh, this is this. a very winter moist. time. Yeah. All very moist lotion. Exactly. Right it smells like grass. It has that, that yummy delicious. smell. Okay, I love now, it. I know. <laughs> lighter lotions, you have other ways that you can use it as well on your hair. Is that right? Yes. Believe it or not, um, I heard a celebrity told me this years ago um, and you just kind of pump out. It has to be lightweight, of course, like water-based. You right. don't want anything oily. Just rub it between your palms and... So when we get those little frizzy those ends, flyaways little fly that ways. you get, exactly, just kind of dab it. I don't know where. Yeah, just touch okay. your flyaways. <laughs> there you dab it here. Me up yes. oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> yes, dab Susie it. did such a good job on my hair. There are none today, yeah. but but usually you get That's them. Cool. And instead of having that heavy look of like gel. You right. know, no, women don't want to use hair gel. Right. That's nice, because so. every once yeah. in a while I'll buy a lotion and I don't realize it's one of those thin, watery oh, types when mm -hmm. you get it home. So that's a good use for that. Exactly. Okay. And then last but not least, mm -hmm. witch hazel, which oh, also a yes. lot of great uses.
uses besides an antiseptic. Right. Everybody knows the Dickinson's has been around right. for like a hundred years. It's the Since witch the hazel Dickens. flower. <laughs> <Since> the <Dickens. laughs> right. The witch hazel flower extract. Um, and it has obviously we know it's a great astringent and mm -hmm. fights oil and acne, but it has these sort of um, constricting, depuffing quality to it. Oh. So if you take, as we soaked the two makeup and pads here. And then put them here, under your eyes? Right, put it in the okay. fridge for a little while and then kind of put it on your eyes and it actually depuffs your under eye bags. And, and um, is it true about preparation H under the eyes? So yes. I'm glad you asked because believe yes. it or not, witch yes. hazel is tried. the main ingredient in preparation ah. H. So again, that whole reducing swelling property and the old pageant trick like you said is to kind of dab Under the there. preparation age we'd rather use the witch hazel i think but um it's great for really depuffing too so janae luciani <laughs> just a wealth of information thank you. thank you so much <laughs>